Mm. Good stuff. Spam a lot. See, that's a good name for a fast food van, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't spam spam fritters. Spam, really, yeah. You don't, it's, not, it's not really for eating. It's more for comedy, spam. <laughs> you should throw it more, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. My, mind you, we used to throw it at school. We really did. We grew up on it. But what yeah, type yeah, of school yeah. were you in? Spam then? fritters we used to have. That's terrible. Yeah. Deep fried. Whoa. Anyway, yes, on the, on the uh, topic of some lot, musical is back. And it, it did take a long time to kind of evolve, didn't it, out the back? Because it was at 83, the last movie, and then 2005. Yeah. 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 The musical. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I was writing with John Dupre for a long time. We did a, a radio musical on Radio 4 called Sticky Wicket about the three things the English love most, which is sex, royalty and cricket. <laughs> and uh, we thought, well, that's never going on Broadway. They're never going to have a cricket. So I was always looking for a, a subject. Yeah. And finally, one day I thought, you know what? Holy Grail is a brilliant subject yeah. for a musical. And that was like the end of the 90s. And then I started to develop it from there, really. Mm. Did you think that it would be so successful? I mean, on a global scale? No, no. I mean, it's been unbelievable. I, see it, I go and see it around the world. It's, it's like it just keeps on going. And mm. it's, as you say, it's coming again into the West End, which is amazing after three years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, for those who haven't seen it, let's have a little look. Always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the right side of life For life is quite absurd And death's the final word You must always face the curtain with a bow Forget about your sin Give the audience a grin Enjoy it, it's your last chance anyhow Brilliant well, You have quite an eclectic cast, don't you? I mean, we were wondering where Todd Carty had gone because yeah. he was Grange Hurley, he sends us the bill, and now we know he's in He's been on the road with us for two years, yeah. actually. He's a wonderful patsy. Mm -hmm. He's very good. So who else have you got in the cast that's going into well, the Well, Marcus Brig Brigstock is, 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 uh, plays King Arthur, and we've got uh, Bonnie Langford playing the, the Lady of the Lake. And I think John Culshaw is going to take over when Marcus goes to the Edinburgh Festival. So right. We like to put funny people. It's a very funny cast. It's yeah. completely different from the last time it was in the West End. It's completely different sets, different costumes. And we even have a new song. Um, oh, and uh, with the context in. of what? what well, they, why, they, why did you decide to write a new because song? Because we had one song that wasn't working so well in the UK, so we changed it to um, You Won't Succeed in Showbiz If You Don't Have Any Stars. And, uh, yeah, so it's all about, um, you know, you get Susan Boyle comes on stage, Ozzy Osbourne and <laughs> yeah, his wife, yeah, yeah. you know, Simon Cowell gets referenced for abuse. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a true story. You, you need some TV stars to sort of do well on, in the West End now. So yeah, okay. it sort of okay. nails an issue. And speaking of writing songs, now, is it true that you've written a brand new song for Professor Brian Cox? It's partly true. Um, yes, I've written it, but it's not a new song. We adapted the Our Old Galaxy song, the Universe song. Okay. And he, he asked me if I'd write him a song for his new series on life. So I've put in all the things about deoxyribonucleic acid, which is not an easy rhyme. No. And, <laughs> and he's, he's, he would send me facts like it's 4.8 billion years here. We think it's 4.7. I'm going, I'm trying to rhyme. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> That's the hardest thing. It's like, kind of, where do you start? How do you get, you know, the facts with the music, with all of that? I mean... Well, you have to write the lyrics. So, that, yeah. so we've recorded it and done it, and it'll be in the new series. Would you say that that's your main passion then? Because you wrote most of the songs for Monty Python. Well, I like writing musicals, certainly. Yeah. I like putting. Uh, we just did a play, uh, which I'm not supposed to mention the title for, really, because um, it could be conceived as an innuendo. It's called What About Dick? <laughs> right. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, we had some wonderful people in it, and I loved taking a play and writing a play and then adding really silly songs to it. That's, that gives me the most enjoyment. So you think in, in later life then there'll be more musicals, more plays to come? If there's much later life, maybe, yes. Yeah. Um, they take a long time, you know, they're, they're hard to sort of do and get right. Because yeah. you've got to get the play right. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Well, Monty Python's Spamalot returns to London's West End at the Harold Pinter Theatre on July the 24th.